So let me finish what I'm trying to tell you then. Please do. Should you, should, should this happen again, which I'm hoping it doesn't, but knowing her behaviors, it's likely. So should this happen again, I just want to let you know that if you see my phone in that same position on that same tripod where it always is, I have not left it there unintentionally. I have transferred custody of it to someone else that is in that room. There are some really good things to learn about this video. This woman is new to me and I like her, so I'm going to present her to my supporters. She brings up good points. Make sure to sub her channel and show her how powerful this movement is. When she gets kicked out of a city council meeting, she transfers custody of her phone to someone else, which brings a legal status to the action, which this chief violated because he grabbed her phone from inside and returned it to her. And she points something else out that's very important. This chief has someone he has to answer to, and that's the city manager. And if you're wondering why sheriff's departments are being minimized and lose jurisdiction to police departments, that's because the city manager controls the police department with help from the city attorney. Let's get right to the video, folks. Hey, chief. Chief, I need to talk to you before you go. Don't let me forget to remind you guys to go subscribe to her channel. Her channel links will be in the description and pinned comment as always. Let's get right back to it. I know. It's unusual to walk out of the, the meeting and still have the sun out. Uh, yeah, I gotta make it quick. Yep, so um, my phone, I had transferred custody of it to a different person. Mm -hmm. And then it was brought out to me saying that the council said they didn't want it in there. So you were told to leave with all your stuff? I transferred I, custody. I you had transferred your, uh, Nobody asked me. But if you had, if you had asked, if you had asked any of the officers who were standing there next to me, I had told them I transferred custody of it to the okay. to this person. But regardless, they, well, they were out here. They regardless, were here. was there a warrant to, to remove my phone? No. Okay. Did I authorize anyone to move my phone? It could have been just left as lost and found. If I can finish, if I can finish, you were told to leave the room with all your stuff by the magistrate, who is the mayor. She's not a magistrate. She is a magistrate for this purpose. She is not a magistrate. Yes, the mayor's magistrate. Yeah. She's yes. not. There is nowhere in the code, in the, in the state law, that yeah, says so she's a magistrate. She corrects this cop when he says the mayor is also the magistrate. How confused can a police chief be? He doesn't understand much about his job, it seems. I'm not going to argue with you, okay? She can't magistrate shit. She is a magistrate for the purposes of the open meeting. Yes, ma'am, she is. Okay, well, we'll check on that. Oh, please do. But uh, anyway. But but even at that, she can't say trespass someone from the property. Even at that, she can't say remove someone's property without their permission. When I don't care what I was. You were told to leave. You were told to leave. Did it, was there a warrant for me to leave? If you let me finish. If you were let me finish, the mayor asked you to leave, ordered you to leave, and you did. I appreciate that. I did without I any fuss. That stuff. Normally, people take their stuff with them. I took almost all of it. I was asked to take your phone that was left behind, brought it out, gave it to an officer, and he gave it to you. All right? And I saw that you immediately handed it to someone else, and they brought it in, and so be it. I did, I because it was not... I what you did before we left. Well, then the question, someone aware. should have asked me first, yeah. because you know how I am, Chief. Wait, wait. Only, would you let me finish? No, you, you, you property, won't let me finish. When people leave property behind, we generally try to get it back to them. Chief. You know, you know me, right? How many times has this happened? Every single time I leave it there, mm -hmm. every single time I pick somebody and I say, hey, you're, this is in your custody, you know? If I'm going to leave it there, I don't just leave it without transferring custody to someone. Okay. In this so, particular instance, I wasn't there for that. So but, you, make but you know my habits. So mm -hmm. if you I'm know that, make well, then that, why okay. wouldn't you have asked me? Because and who the because hell is Kegel to come tell you in your ear to take my shit out? Because I was told to do that. I'm doing what I was told. All right. And that's, it's as simple as that. You were, you left, you were asked to so leave. The city manager, you left your property behind. Is the city manager a magistrate in there? No, he's not. Okay, so then how does the city manager have authority to tell you to touch anything that doesn't belong to you? The, city, the city manager <laughs> The city manager is my boss, 
Okay. All right, guys, watching this video, I just realized that I made a mistake in one of my past videos. You see, I've been seeing a lot of cops speeding with no emergency lights, turning without signaling, parking in red zones. And I decided to go over to the mayor's office and leave a note. And I left a note with Mayor Karen Go of Bakersfield, California. And I asked her if she can talk to the chief of police so that he can talk to the rest of the police officers and tell them to stop speeding with no emergency lights because it's dangerous and somebody's going to end up dying. Well, not even two weeks later, a police officer was speeding with no emergency lights, ran a stop sign, and killed Mario Lars, who was driving home from work that evening. My poor voice went unheard, folks. But watching this video, I realized I made a mistake that day. I should have gone to the city manager's office. So from here on out, folks, whenever we want to get a message over to the chief of police, you can always try and set up an appointment. And when that doesn't work like it hasn't before, you can always go over to the city manager's office, make an appointment with the city manager. And he asked me to do something that is not patently illegal. And I returned your property. To, to touch my belongings without without my permission and remove the remove my property. Wait, you you touched and removed my property. So during that point it was seized. Was it? But was there a warrant? This is turning into an argument. It's not. I just want to know. This is not. This is not a the place for this. I have. It's not the place to answer my questions. I returned your property to you. That I that was not in my custody. I appreciate you leaving. I transferred custody. I didn't know. You that. were standing right next to me. Not the whole time. You were the whole time. You nope. were standing next to me all I, the way up until I, I walked, walked out. Over right before you picked up your stuff and left. Right, and before mm -hmm. I picked up my stuff and left, I said, "You well, now I have custody of I my wasn't phone." I was privy to that. I was simply returning your property to you. Okay, at yeah. the instruction of the city manager. Yes. Just because he's your boss. And he it's said not so. Because he's my boss, he's the person that I'm going to listen to. Yes. Okay. But when he points out that there's property back there, I'm going to return it to you. Then it could have waited until after the meeting, also. Well, I'm sorry. It could. Have, why did it have to be immediate? Why couldn't it have waited until after the meeting? Just because I got it. Because when somebody asks you to do something, you generally do it. You, you don't, don't have to. I don't wait till I'm good and ready. I just you, okay. Let's, let's get this done. Did you know the purpose for me leaving it behind, Chief? So let me tell you now, in, in the future, for future reference, every single time. So are you, are you planning to do this a lot? Well, is she planning to kick me out for every little thing that I do? Uh, so I I'm no just idea. going to let you know, though, for future reference, regardless. Okay, I can plan to come in here and make comments and make her mad every week. I can plan to do that if I want to. And it doesn't change anything about what her response is and whether it's legal or not. Okay? or whether it's right or not. But for future reference, and no, I don't plan ever to come in That's with the, like. I don't ever plan to come in with the intent of getting kicked out. However, I know her habits and her behaviors. So I'm just letting you know that for future reference, if it happens to happen again, and you see my phone is still sitting there and it is recording, Okay. Before you make an assumption that I have left it behind, because the assumption was that I just left it behind, even though I gathered up all of my other belongings. Uh, yeah, wait, yeah, so I'm just letting assumption. you know. Well, no, you assumed that it was just left behind because no one asked me. I see. There's unattended property. That was assumption. That was no. It was an assumption. It was an assumption. Yes, it was I, unattended. I, I don't have any quarrel with you. I don't have any quarrel I, with you either, I, I, but I you're not letting me leave. finish. I do have so to let leave. me finish what I'm trying to tell you then. Please do. Should you, Quickly. should, should this happen again, yeah. mm -hmm. which I'm hoping it doesn't, but knowing her behaviors, it's likely. So should this happen again, I just want to let you know that if you see my phone in that same position on that same tripod where it always is, I have not left it there unintentionally. I have transferred custody of it to someone else that is in that room. And if there's any question about that before anyone touches it, they should come talk to me because if it happens again, I will do the exact same thing and I will pack up and I will be right here in the same location. I will be someplace where I can be found and if not every single person on that dais, the, the city secretary, the city manager, even you, you all have my phone number. I don't have your phone number. Well, I will email you my phone number. Okay? Okay. And then you will have my phone number. But in the meantime, like I said, if you should see that I leave it, it is intentional. And if it, especially when it's still recording. Especially when it's still recording. 
So whatever happened in between the time that it was picked up and removed and came out here and the time that it got back in there, something happened to the point where my phone won't charge now. So yes, it was damaged. So you say? <laughs> no, I'd tell you that it wouldn't charge in there. Okay. It had been charging when I left. It was, uh, the green thing was on, the, like, the lightning bolt was there, it was charging when I left. When it went back in, it wouldn't charge. Okay. Same charger, same everything, same setup, wouldn't work. I have no idea why that would have happened. I don't either, because I wasn't privy to the fact that my belongings were being taken. Well, they were left, Even though they they were left unattended. They were I'm not gonna, left unattended. I'm going to stop speaking in circles with you. Okay, okay so that's stop saying they were left unattended that's, when they were not left unattended. Well, that's, that's how they they were left under the supervision of someone that's else. That's how they appeared. And so you made an assumption based on the appearance. I didn't make an assumption. That was a fact. They were sitting there unattended. No, it, they were not sitting there unattended. I'm not, okay, we're, we're done. I'm not going to argue with you. If I leave I have, the room and I leave my to come out here, right, and I'm still, I'm still allowed on the property. I haven't been removed from the meeting. I decide to walk out to the bathroom. I leave my phone there does that mean you can grab it and move it because it's unattended no we're we're talking apples and oranges here no we're not you're, because yes. they and besides at you're, that point it wasn't even my phone at that point it was not even my phone at that point it was the the belong to the person I that i transferred it to second. i have to go i really have to go i appreciate your cooperation when you left today it was not a big there was not a scene i appreciate you voluntarily complying and coming outside uh if it happens again, I would appreciate that in the future. If it happens again, I would appreciate that. you don't touch my stuff without talking to me first. Well, we'll try to have a little bit of a conversation next time. That would be but great. I do appreciate your cooperation, and I do appreciate your compliance. Policy. And I and I understand that you're doing a job, and you're doing what your not direct boss, but your you know someone in the chain told you. I know that you're also protected by civil service, so he can't fire you for not following the law, and not following one of his requests. So he can't fire you for that. I'm not, I'm not worried about being fired. Okay, so then why... Are, okay. So, okay, so anyway... Anyway, I have to go. I appreciate okay. your time, and I appreciate your cooperation um, when you left today. Okay? Thank you very much. I have to go. Gear heart bad, JD. Alright folks, and here are my final thoughts. She has some damn good de-escalation skills. This chief was wrong, but he had a good attitude. And this is how interactions should go, right or wrong. The chief tried to say what most officers say when they lose an argument. I don't want to argue with you, knowing damn well they're wrong. And here's something else I want to point out that I believe is extremely important. We're beginning to see many videos of people demanding accountability in city council meetings throughout the nation. This is what Americans should be focused on, not just recording cops in the streets or public servants failing to do their jobs. We have so much more work to do. The meetings and the courthouses need some accountability just as much, if not more. City council members have been running amok, so it seems. We need to put these cowardly civil rights violators and parasitic party members full of agendas and self-interest in check. So with that being said, make sure to go say hello to Melissa Brown. She's downtown. She has an amazing attitude and conviction. Let's learn some more from her. I'll drop her links in the description and the pinned comment as always. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Peace.